Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to fix the Adobe Genuine Software Integrity Service pop-up. Let's get started. How to get away with this annoying pop-up which comes up, which is Adobe Genuine Software Integrity Service. If you've ever downloaded a cracked or torrent version of Adobe software, you might still get these messages even after uninstalling it. This is due to recent changes Adobe has made. I'll show you a quick and easy way to remove this pop-up so it no longer bothers you. On your MacBook, click anywhere on the desktop to make sure the Apple logo, Finder, and File menu are visible. Then, click on the Go menu and select Go to Folder. In the Go to Folder dialog, enter the following path. Library slash Application Support. In the Application Support window, locate and open the Adobe folder. In the Adobe folder, look for any files related to the Adobe software you previously had. So, if Adobe software was previously installed, it's likely that some residual files or folders are left behind on your MacBook. These remnants can sometimes cause issues or trigger error messages, like the Adobe Genuine Software Integrity Service pop-up. In the Adobe folder, you'll find numerous subfolders and files. These can include various remnants of the software that may be causing the pop-up issue. To resolve this, you'll need to remove these leftover files and folders. You can review the contents of these folders to check if there's anything you need to save, such as cloud libraries or important files. Once you've backed up any necessary data, you can safely delete the remaining files and folders to remove the Adobe software remnants. After deleting the Adobe folders, you should no longer receive the pop-up. To ensure it doesn't reappear, click on Learn More in the pop-up to open a browser, then close the browser. This action should stop the pop-up from showing up again. And don't forget to empty the trash. Once you've done that, the Adobe Genuine Software Integrity Service pop-up should no longer bother you. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask if you look over here, you'll see other applications that you've installed and then removed. If you have applications like these, you can go through the application support main folder and check for any folders related to software you no longer use. Removing these folders can help keep your system clean and prevent any potential issues in the future. If you found this tutorial helpful, feel free to like the video and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.